Hi, today we're going to do a heart and neck vessel assessment. This is for educational purposes only. During this assessment, you may find that I am saying a lot of things out loud. Some of those things I'm talking to our patient, Mr. Shirtoff, giving him instruction or just talking with him. Other things I will be saying exactly what I'll be charting in the electronic medical record. Please note that when you are assessing your patient, you would not be sharing your full documented assessment with them. But for this purpose, so that you can practice on your own, I am saying exactly um, what I would be charting, what I'm finding. All right. Knock, knock, knock. Come in. Hi, Mr. Shirtoff. Yes. My name is Sheila. I'm going to be your nurse today. How are you doing today? Well, okay. How are you? I'm good, thanks. I hope I didn't wake you up from a good nap. Oh, no, yeah, it's, it's that time of night. Oh, okay. I'm sorry about that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can I ask you if I can um, check your ID band? All right. Can you tell me your name and date of birth? Sure enough. Uh, Three fourteen sixty nine. Okay. Thank you. So. I'd like to go ahead and do an assessment of your head, uh, of your neck and, I'm sorry, your heart and your neck vessels. Okay. All right. So first thing I'm going to ask is just a couple questions. Can I ask, have you ever been diagnosed with an irregular heartbeat uh, or they may call it an arrhythmia? Well, I have a once in a while, yeah. My cardiologist saw something. Okay. So you're following up uh, with a cardiologist? Correct. Okay. And are you taking any medication for it? No. Okay. No. And then have you had a heart attack? No, I have not. All right. And do you have a family history, maybe a parent who's had a heart attack? Both my parents have had heart attacks. Okay. Can I ask how old? Oh, well, my mom was 38 and my dad was 50 something. Okay. And is that why you have a cardiologist you follow no, up that's with? That's correct. Because and plus I had, I bruised my heart when I used to play, you know, sports activity when I used to play, they take away. Oh my, okay. Um, well, thank you for answering those questions. I'm going to go ahead and get started with the assessment, okay? Sure. So first thing, I'm just going to raise up the bed. Is that okay? That's great. All right, I'm going to put you more in a sitting position. Okay. This is about 30 to 45 degrees. Is that okay for you? Is that comfortable? That's awesome. Okay. First thing I'm going to have you do is if you can look to the side for me. What I'm doing right now is I'm looking to see if um, there's any right jugular vein distension, which would indicate fluid overload. And I don't see any pulsation of the right jugular. So go ahead and put your um, head forward for me. Thank you for that. I'm gonna go ahead and put my fingers on your neck. I'm just gonna try to feel your carotid artery. a strong smooth upstroke on both sides next thing I'm going to do is just I, I'm going to ask you if you can please when you exhale at the end of the breath just hold your breath okay so breath in breath out and then hold your breath Thank you. And if you do the same thing again, breath out and hold it. So I'm going to document that I don't hear any bruise. So the next thing I'd like to do is I'm going to feel your uh, where your apical pulse is, where your heart is. So I'm just going to press down on your chest a little bit. Mm -hmm. okay. Regular. And pardon my pressing here. Great. Feel your apical pulse. 
And I'm now I'm going to just listen to it, okay? Bear with me. I'm going to listen for 30 seconds because your heart rate is regular. And after 30 seconds, I'm going to go ahead and say your heart rate is 72 and it's regular. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm also going to listen additionally on your chest. This will just take a minute. My second intercostal space. I'm listening to your aortic valve area. Now I'm going to listen second intercostal space on the left to your pulmonic. Now I'm going to listen on the fourth intercostal space to your tricuspid. Finally, I'm going to listen to your mitral valve, which is the same space as your apical pulse. Okay. So in all areas, I'm going to document that they were regular. I heard S1, S2. I did not hear additional S3 or 4. I didn't hear any clicks, extra heart sounds or murmurs. And so now I'm gonna do the same thing. This time I'm gonna listen with the other part of my stethoscope. Switch to the valve. This side, I don't have to press down so firmly. I can press lightly. My cuspid. And my trunk. And with this assessment, again, I'm going to note that with my bell, I hear a regular rhythm. I hear S1, S2. I do not hear S3 or S4 in any of the areas. I also do not hear any murmurs, extra heart sounds like clicks. Um, and I would hear anything abnormal more easily with the bell of the, during this assessment. So that concludes my assessment, Mr. Shirtoff, of your heart and neck vessels. So I really appreciate your patience with me. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Is there anything I can do for you before I leave? Turn off the lights. Okay, I can turn off the lights. I'll go ahead and make sure your call light's nearby and your phone is within reach, okay? Sounds good. Thank you, Sheila. All right. See you in a little bit.